So do you have your ID on you? Am I required to give you ID? Yes, you are. What happened if I don't give it to you? You're going to jail, period. Go really? Yeah, really. Sir, I'm standing on a public sidewalk engaged in constitutionally protected Correct. activity. Correct. But I'm letting you know you're going to go to jail, no questions asked. And if I don't give you ID, I'll go to jail. Yes. Even though I've explained to you that I'm engaged in constitutionally protected activity. I don't activity. care if you explain it to me or not. Safeguarded by the First Amendment. It's okay. freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of assembly on a traditional public forum. The steps of City Hall. Correct. I'm yeah. not begging for you money. Got your ID? I'm not begging for money. Okay. You got your ID. Do I need to show you my ID? You need to show me your ID. Yes, sir. Or what? You're going to jail. What Doesn't is, matter if you commit a crime or not. You have to identify a reference to a complaint. Even though I've explained to you that I'm engaged in constitutionally protected. You, you don't need to explain anything to me because I literally don't care. This isn't some free will state, man. This is how it is in the state of Mississippi. So you don't have freedom and, and, in the state of Mississippi? If, if you don't like it, you can go back to Florida. You want to tell me what I can and can't do. And you told me if I violate your rights, I'm going to be, I don't know, in trouble, I guess. You understand that? Do you understand that? I'm engaged in constitutionally protected. Do you understand protected. that? I'm engaged yes or no? It's a very simple question. I'm engaged do you in understand constitutionally me? protected activity. So let me explain this this to you again. This is freedom of speech and freedom of religion. I don't care. You don't care if I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. You're a militant Republican. Yes, I am. Then veteran. go to jail. Yes, I am. Then 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 go to you're not going to go anywhere with it. You understand me? I would rather not do that. I would rather you respect my, my constitutionally protected rights, especially being a veteran. I, I do. I do well, you very much don't. every day. You're trespassing me but off when of you public start property. becoming confrontational and telling me what I can and can't do, guess what? Is you're going you're gonna to lose every time. Is it illegal? Because I know what my job is. I know what the constitutional okay. says. I know what the God-given right is. Right. You're not going to tell me anything different. Yeah, you understand me? Be. Now, yes, I'm... You want to you want to get confrontational? I can get confrontational. Just that simple. In January of 2024, the Mississippi cities of Waveland and Ocean Springs both received via certified mail my notice of intent to sue for violating my civil rights. Since both notice of intent to sue letters contain essentially the same facts and the same demands, we will focus on the notice of intent letter sent to Ocean Springs. City of Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Attention, Patty Gadsden, City Clerk. 1018 Porter Avenue, Ocean Springs, Mississippi. RE, Notice of Claim and Intent to Sue. Dear Ocean Springs, I have been retained by Jeff Gray, whose rights were violated in a manner explained in this correspondence. As provided by law, unless we reach an immediate out-of-court settlement, suit will be brought against the appropriate entities and against the individual officers upon receipt of notice of denial of claim or when the tolling period expires or whichever comes first. The extent of the injury. Gray's freedom of speech and freedom of assembly were unlawfully curtailed. Gray was subject to an illegal detainment in violation of the law. Gray was unlawfully searched. Ultimately, Gray was threatened with arrest if he did not follow Wilder's illegal commands or if he returned to the traditional public forum. Gray brings this action to vindicate his constitutional rights to hold a sign in a public space, to peacefully communicate a political message to others, to not be unjustly compelled to identify himself, to safely film police officers without interference, and to not be subject to unlawful search and seizure for doing so in the future. And here are my demands. Gray demands that the city of Ocean Springs, number one, immediately revoke and terminate all trespass orders, warnings, and records pertaining to Gray and any public property within the city of Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Two, Donate the symbolic amount of $1,791 to the National Coalition for Homeless Veterans. 3. Pay Gray's reasonable attorney fees and expenses. 4. Issue an official public decree via memorandum posted through a public notice as well as through the city's website and social media platforms that the public sidewalk and the public areas surrounding City Hall are a traditional public forum open to the public for expressive activity. Imagine that. 5. Implement a mandatory training program on the First Amendment for all City of Ocean Springs law enforcement officers, which must be at least one hour in length and must be completed by the entire force within one year. 6. Rescind or amend any ordinance which might apply to, be cited by, or be relied upon by law enforcement, or be implicated in the exercise of free speech, such as that used by Gray. This would include appropriate amendments to ordinances regarding panhandling and loitering. Number seven, issue a written apology to Gray for the violation of his rights. 
Please note how I am not asking for any money or demanding any money for myself personally. And now here is my personal message to Officer Wilder. Actually, it's former Officer Wilder now. Be careful what you ask for there, Mr. Confrontational, because you just might get it. It's just that simple. Go get your freaking lawyer and sue the city if you think that's a violation. Go get your freaking lawyer and sue the city if you think that's a violation. Go get your freaking lawyer and sue the city if you think that's a violation.